what we're doing, and we'll get to positioning in a minute, is what, what are these three guys supposed to do? So throw it here. <laughs> Let's define this for you. When it goes in, ball side. We never, ever go to the ball, ball side. Yep, we go butt to the baseline. So I would say this to you. Larry Brown talks about this a lot when he talks about defense. When he throws it over your head, if you put your butt to the baseline, you can see the whole court. If he throws it over your head and you put butt to half court, you can only see your man. So anytime he throws it in, we're going to go like this. If you cut, I'll go with you, but let's just say you don't cut. Throw it in. I may fake like I'm coming, but the easiest shot that kills your defense is when you do come because it's just a chest pass to a wide open shooter. We stay at home, ball side. You got that? Where we don't stay at home is from the top. And by the way, it's never as simple as him just standing here. He's moving into this area. He set a screen and popped. But when he catches the ball in the post, we crowd the post, but especially from the top. And our rule, and it really works if you think in these terms. If he hasn't dribbled, you got to know your scouting. How good of a passer is he? Is he a turnover guy? And who are you guarding? That's going to tell me how far to crowd. But if that's a non-shooter and he's a high turnover guy, I'm really crowding. I mean, I'm trying to almost create havoc. The greatest time to really come is when he dribbles. Because big guys in the post, while they're dribbling, have a hard time picking it up and then being able to deliver a sharp pass back. So we're going to really try and wrap the ball out, dribble. When he, when he comes, touch his ball is what we say, throw back, and then I'm going to close back out and get his help. 